Hello everybody, this is Joel from Silver Arrow Cars. And this is our 1967 Maserati Mexico. Pretty cool car. Let me tell you a little bit about it. First of all, this comes to us from a very good friend and client that's owned the car since 1986. So he's owned it for 36 years. Bought it as a younger man. During those 36 years, he's always been in the car industry on the restoration side. He spent years and years and years working uh, on 300 SLs and Ferrari Dinos and cars very much like this. So. This car comes from the right type of ownership and uh, the right guy to take care of something like this. The Maserati Mexico was uh, developed in 1965 in part with Vignale, uh, design firm for Maserati. The Coles notes would be that its production debut for the international market was at the 1966 Paris Auto Show. Uh, and during the course of its design, and uh, release. Uh, one of the prototypes was sold to the Mexican president at the time uh, and through that I believe is how it came to be called the Maserati Mexico. There's some traffic coming up here. Five-speed transmission, I'll mention that right off the top. ZF five-speed transmission is in this specific car shifts beautifully. All the synchros work exactly the way they're supposed to as I'm downshifting here and go all the way into first gear. So they built these cars for from 1967 to 1972, I believe. They only built in total, including some production cars, 485 total, and they only built 300 of the 4.2 liter, which is what this car is fitted with. So this is an all aluminum Maserati V8. Interestingly enough, for 1967, this has a quad overhead cam engine. That's a lot of technology for 1967 and very advanced. Uh, it revs beautifully. Uh, red lines at 5,500 RPM. Peak horsepower, I believe, in this car is 260 uh, horsepower and it feels like every 260 is there. The car is very nice and accelerates very well. Um, these cars were fitted with disc brakes. They had, like as I said, the five speed manual transmission, um, they had power windows as standard, they had air conditioning which is standard. All the components of the air conditioning are still there on this car, uh, however he hasn't recharged it, never had the need. Our climate uh, certainly doesn't have, uh, doesn't really demand air conditioning, uh, but all the components are there um, as they were I believe from new. The interiors of these cars were all finished with leather and then or rich leather, actually, is how you could probably call it. And then also uh, mahogany wood throughout. Steering wheel's been refinished. This feels very smooth uh, in your hands. There's no nicks on the backside. As we all know, that becomes quite annoying. Uh, but all the mahogany has been refinished over the years, but is in great shape all the way around through the back of the car. Uh, the, the power windows both work exactly the way they're supposed to. I won't go all the way down because it's very cold at the moment. Oh, here we go. Oh, we, oh no. We got an accident. Um, a lot of cool um, appointments in these cars. Uh, the gauges with the silver aluminum uh, around the dials, or around the gauges, sorry, uh, of the Smith Instruments. Uh, all finished very nicely. Everything works in the interior. All the gauges work, uh, I believe with the exception of the clock. Uh, all your switches along here for uh, climate and fans and fuel pump. Interestingly, these cars have uh, two fuel tanks, one on either side of the rear. Um, and then there's a um, equalization tube that goes between the two 
near the top of the tanks. And then there's a pump here that can regulate or regular, regulate? Regulate uh, the fuel levels between the two tanks. Um, <clears throat> as I said, the car's been in the same ownership for 36 years. He's done everything. He just had it, uh, the engine out and did some resealing of the engine. Uh, along the way, he's done things like clutch, um, rebuilding the starter, the alternator, um, and the list goes on. We'll have it all in the we'll have it all in the auction. But just a very well taken care of car. Also to note, when he bought the car in Vancouver, British Columbia in 1986, uh, quite soon after, I think he went to work on it. It was finished in a mustard yellow and uh, had a pigskin interior. He quickly went to work with some friends that also worked in the industry and they were body men. And uh, they stripped the car down, painted it in the paint that you see here today. So this is 36 year old paint, give or take. Uh, and it was a color that his friend was painting his Porsche. Uh, Aranthros or anthracite uh, gray. So that's the paint you see on it today. You'll see that more about the paint in the walk around. Uh, still has quite a good presentation level. A little flaw here and there, as you would imagine, for 36 years old, but um, in very, very good condition. You'll notice, I think, probably one of the striking parts of the exterior of the Maserati Mexico is that they were fitted with brawny wire wheels. Uh, brawny wire wheels are, you know, a very famous wire wheel manufacturer. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous on this car, and I think they're striking on almost any car. Uh, we've got a 300 SL with brawny wire wheels. Uh, this one, when he bought the car, he had all the wire wheels redone. So, uh, again, back in the 80s, he had all the wheels taken off the car, and then he sent them to Dayton, which I think everyone knows Dayton wire wheels in the U.S., uh, and he had them all redone and refinished. <laughs> The rich leather and mahogany or wood used in the interior of the car is mostly all original to it, uh, with the exception of the front seats. But all of the beautiful wood across the dash and along the tops of the doors, uh, both in the rear and in the front, that's all the original wood that's been preserved and I think refinished over the years, but still in really good condition. So just to recap everything, this is a 1967 Maserati Mexico 4.2, so that's the all aluminum 4.2 quad cam V8 with the Weber downdraft carbs. Coming out of 36 years of ownership out of Vancouver and Victoria, British Columbia. Uh, we are selling this car at no reserve on a Ohio title sitting in Washington state. So please bid on it to own it. Any shipping, we can handle all of that for you. Don't worry about that. Please just ask uh, and no problem at all. If you have something you want to reach out to us about, please do. You can do it on the internet, silverarrowcars.com or use the contact seller button. But this is a very, very cool car. Such beautiful details on the interior has been kept in very good condition over 36 years by uh, an industry collector car mechanic. He is the guy that's owned this for 36 years and it shows. It, it is a great car. I would put, call it a driver, a high driver quality car. Mechanically, it's quite impressive. Uh, everything's been sorted out. Uh, the exterior looks beautiful. The, uh, the wire wheels, the interior. There's gonna be imperfections here and there. Um, but all in all, just a very cool car, a great car to add to a collection without spending a whole ton of money and breaking the bank. 
Again, this car comes from the era of the 365 2 plus 2 uh, and many others, all a lot of which were designed by Vignali uh, that designed or had a hand in designing this car. So please bid confidently, reach out to us if you need us, but good luck and hopefully this Maserati Mexico makes it into your garage.